The Philippines have been put on earthquake and tsunami alert. This is after a giant oarfish, 14 foot, washes up on shore. This is not the first time this has happened. This has happened just a few days ago. Again, these deep sea fish have been stranded on shore. People have said they do that when there's an earthquake approaching. They're a type of a fish that is, uh, I guess, nature advising people that there's a strong earthquake coming. Uh, now, some people ridicule this, saying there's no such thing as an earthquake prediction. Well, that's not so. These fish have been washing up even before the, the uh, nine Richter, magnitude uh, Richter earthquake in uh, Japan before the Fukushima disaster, and uh, just a few days ago before the New Zealand quake and the Indonesia earthquake. Those were both above seven magnitude. So these have been washing up again, and an alert has been issued for earthquake and tsunami, for a, a huge, that is, a huge one, significant size. Claire Anderson of Express UK reports, the Philippines is on earthquake and tsunami alert after the discovery of an almost 14-foot oarfish on their shores. This fish, said to swim in shallow water ahead of an earthquake, comes as a warning to the residents. It measures about 13.9 feet, and it washed up in Barangay Poblacion in Compostela, a town in northern Cebu, and it washed up yesterday. The deep sea fish died when locals tried to pull it from the rocks where it was hiding and uh, unfortunately they damaged its head. The Municipal Disaster Risk Reduction Management Office shared the photos of the fish on Facebook and the group said those who found the fish said it suddenly appeared hiding in the rocks located near the dike. They caught it by the head, started to pull it hard, not knowing that it had a soft body and the reason why its head was uh, somehow damaged. One resident said it was the first time the fish had washed up on their shorelines, according to CDN. The fish are traditionally known as Ryugu no Tsukai in Japanese. It's a, it means messenger from the sea god's palace. And legend has associated this huge fish as an omen, Myth gatherers believe that uh, the 2011 Fukushima earthquake and subsequent tsunami, which uh, killed more than 20,000 people, the quake had a magnitude of 9 and was one of the biggest recorded in a century. A dozen oarfish had washed up onto Japan's coastline in 2010 before the disaster. We know that the uh, huge earthquake was in March. Now, scientists dispute such claims. Wozu Aquarium Keeper Kazusa Saiba told CNN that global warming or subtle changes in the Earth's crust could cause the current to stir and push creatures at the bottom to the surface. He says there is no scientific evidence at all for the theory that oarfish appear around big quakes, but we cannot 100% deny this possibility. Again, as we said, legend has it that they do wash up before major earthquakes. Maybe they feel something of a tremor underneath. They could feel tremors, or perhaps they pick up uh, electromagnetic signals. For example, one of the things that geologists use themselves is the increase in gravity, meaning that there's an upsurge of some kind of magma below the surface. Maybe they feel that, or maybe they just hear it. They hear the signals, the uh, frequencies in their bodies, and that's why they come up trying to escape um, the disaster. We see this happening with reptiles. We see this happening with snakes. I remember last year when they had a quite a substantial, I think it was a five and a half magnitude earthquake in one of the Aegean Islands a couple of days before, I think it was two days before, they noticed the snakes were coming out of the ground and they were pretty big, these snakes, and they were crawling up the side of their houses and onto the roofs to try and get away from the uh, upcoming disaster. This was two days before the 5.5 
magnitude earthquake. So yes, animals do, do feel earthquakes, whether we like it or not. They have the instincts, uh, perhaps we don't have them, or maybe we forgot how to use them, but they do feel them. They do feel things. So this is um, the third time this has happened. It happened, as we said before, the New Zealand earthquake. It happened, which was offshore from the Northern Island, the North Island. It happened before the Indonesia earthquake, and it's happening now. Now, is this a coincidence? We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, it seems that the Pacific in that area is rocking and rattling with major earthquakes, as is the West Coast, which is being hit by fives, five and a halfs, and there are some who believe that that for, had increased from fours. We had fours before that, now it's up to fives, and they believe that that will be coming up to six. So we have to be very careful. Uh, now that we're in the solar minimum, we're also going to be having an uptick in um, earth activity, earthquake activity, and volcanic eruptions as well, from what they say. Now, looking at the recent earthquakes that we had from yesterday to today, we've had a tremendous amount of earthquakes all around the Pacific, about uh, 4.6, and we've had a tremendous amount of earthquakes formed about 5.8 magnitude southeast Indian Ridge. That's between the uh, Indian Ocean, a triangle between Australia and, uh, and North Ant Antarctica. And I don't know what's there, why they have such a huge earthquake swarm with such uh, ma massive earthquakes. But we had a Kamchatka series of earthquakes of 6.6. Uh, we had one, two, three, four, five of them from uh, 345 to, uh, sorry, sorry, 345 in the morning, then 2.30 in the afternoon, 3.10 in the afternoon. 3.32 in the afternoon, 3.37, and uh, 3.52 in the afternoon, all of them a 6.6 depth of 21 miles in the uh, Bering Sea area just uh, west of the Aleutian Islands. Now before that, we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 7.5 5 earthquakes in the Banda Sea. Well, the first one was uh, yesterday at 3 in the morning, and then it was uh, one minute later, and then two minutes later, three minutes later, it's like just about every minute after that, at a depth of 138 miles, and that was a 7.5. So you can see that that's pretty big. It's shaking up the whole area. And if we look at the uh, heliplots, they're pretty black. Barbuda is dark. Uh, what else? China is dark. They're feeling whatever's going on, especially the ones in the north, because they're feeling the Kamchatka 6.6 .6 quakes. Now concerning the Kamchatka earthquakes, tsunami, national hazard mitigation, no tsunami warning, advisory watch, or threat on those earthquakes. No tsunami warning. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help 
economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.